Ever wondered why some efforts make a big impact in your life while others seem to barely move the needle? In this video, we delve deeper into this by exploring the intriguing concept of the Pareto Principle. Join in and let's uncover its transformative implications for productivity, decision-making, and many other aspects of your life. First of all, what is the Pareto Principle? Also known as the 80-20 rule, the Pareto Principle states that roughly 80% of the results come from 20% of the efforts, or in simpler terms, a small part of what you do can have a big impact. Where did it come from? The idea of the Pareto Principle came from an Italian economist named Vilfredo Pareto back in 1896. He noticed something interesting in Italy. About 80% of the land was owned by just 20% of the people. But it wasn't just about land, though. Pareto saw the same pattern in his garden. Only 20% of his plants were producing 80% of the fruit. Now, this principle has different names, like the 80-20 rule, the law of the vital few, or the principle of factor sparsity. And while it's not a strict math equation, it's more of a common idea that we can see in many areas of life, from economics and business to managing time and even sports. Let's break it down with some examples. Think about a plant. Usually you'll find that only about 20% of it is responsible for around 80% of the fruit it produces. In a business, it's often the case that 80% of the profits come from just 20% of the customers. In sports like basketball, you might notice that only about 20% of the players score about 80% of the points. Not everyone contributes equally to the final score. But here's the thing. It's not just about finding the 20% that matters. It's also about understanding the 80% that might not be as crucial so you can avoid spending too much time on things that don't really make a big difference. Moving ahead, how can you use this principle in your life? The Pareto Principle is widely applicable across various industries, but it's especially popular in business and economics. Why? Because it's a powerful tool for pinpointing where to direct your efforts to get the most out of them. In fact, this principle is incredibly handy when you're dealing with tasks that can be broken down into smaller pieces, allowing you to figure out which parts of your work pack the most punch. Let's see how you can apply this principle in real life, starting with productivity. Suppose you've got a list of tasks to tackle for the day. In this case, instead of diving in randomly, apply the 80-20 rule. Look for the tasks where completing just 20% of them will give you 80% of the impact. These are your priority tasks, the ones that move the needle the most. To identify them, ask yourself a few questions. Are there tasks that, once completed, unblock other projects or enable your team to keep things flowing smoothly? Are there tasks that require collaboration and have a ripple effect on multiple areas? These seemingly small tasks can often have a big impact on overall productivity. The Pareto Principle isn't just handy for productivity. It's also a powerful tool for decision-making, especially when you're tackling complex problems. Here's how you can apply it to make better decisions. 1. Identify the problems. Pinpoint the issues your team is grappling with. These are the problems you need to solve. 2. Dig into the causes. Use methods like the five whys to uncover all the underlying causes behind these problems. Understanding the root causes is crucial for finding effective solutions. 3. Group similar problems. If some causes fall into similar categories, group them together. This can streamline your decision-making process by allowing you to address multiple issues with one solution. 4. Assign values. Evaluate the impact of each problem on the business. You can use a simple scale of 1.10 or assign actual monetary values to gauge their importance accurately. 5. Focus on the vital few. Now here's where the 80-20 rule comes into play. 
Concentrate on the top 20% of problems that have the most significant impact on the business. By prioritizing these critical issues, you can make a substantial difference. Let's illustrate this with an example. Imagine you work for an e-commerce company. You analyze the latest batch of customer service complaints and discover that a large portion of them stem from customers receiving damaged products. In fact, around 80% of the refunds issued are due to damaged goods. This is a significant problem that your company wants to address promptly. So, you make it a priority to find a solution. Your team decides to focus on updating the packaging to protect the products during shipping better. This targeted solution tackles the root cause of the problem, significantly reducing the number of damaged products reaching customers. In addition to productivity, you can apply the Pareto principle in quality control. So when it comes to quality control, particularly within the Six Sigma methodology, the Pareto analysis and Pareto chart are indispensable tools. And just to get us on the same page, Six Sigma aims to minimize variation in processes to enhance production output, and Pareto charts play a crucial role in achieving this goal. Let me explain. By employing a Pareto chart, practitioners can visually represent data to discern which actions to prioritize. This visual representation is essential for understanding where to focus efforts effectively. Now that you know how you can apply it, let's talk about the benefits of the Pareto Principle. So, the Pareto Principle offers several compelling benefits that can significantly enhance productivity and efficiency for individuals and teams alike. 1. Maximum Impact with minimal effort. By focusing on the vital few tasks that generate the most significant results, you can achieve maximum impact with less work. This streamlined approach allows teams to allocate resources more effectively and accomplish more with fewer resources. Two, enhanced efficiency. Prioritizing initiatives based on the 80-20 rule enables teams to work more efficiently. By concentrating efforts on the most impactful tasks, teams can avoid wasting time on less critical activities, leading to increased productivity and faster progress toward goals. 3. Accelerated Progress The Pareto Principle can expedite progress toward metrics and objectives by directing attention to the most influential factors, by prioritizing initiatives in the right order teams can experience significant improvements in key performance indicators in a shorter period. 4. Clear Priorities The 80-20 rule provides clear guidance on where to focus efforts, both for individuals and teams. This clarity helps streamline decision-making processes and ensures that resources are allocated to activities that align with overarching goals and objectives. 5. Increased Daily Productivity By identifying and prioritizing high-impact tasks, the Pareto Principle enables individuals to maximize their daily productivity. By focusing on tasks that yield the most significant results, individuals can accomplish more in less time, leading to greater overall efficiency. 6. Segmented Work Approach the Pareto Principle encourages breaking down work into manageable segments, allowing individuals and teams to tackle complex tasks more effectively. By focusing on the critical few tasks that drive the majority of outcomes, teams can avoid becoming overwhelmed and maintain momentum toward their goals. 7. Focused Strategy by applying the Pareto Principle, teams can develop a more focused and strategic approach to goal achievement. By concentrating efforts on the most impactful initiatives, teams can optimize resource allocation and ensure that energy is directed towards activities that yield the highest returns. Now, the Pareto. Principle is not without its nuances and potential pitfalls, so let's talk about them. 
One common misunderstanding revolves around the allocation of effort versus the attainment of results. While the principle suggests that a significant portion of outcomes stem from a smaller subset of causes, it doesn't imply achieving substantial results with minimal effort. Rather, it emphasizes directing effort toward the most impactful areas to maximize outcomes. This distinction is crucial for avoiding misconceptions about the principle's application. Another challenge associated with the 80-20 rule is the risk of developing tunnel vision within teams. While prioritizing high-impact tasks is essential for efficiency, excessive focus on these tasks can lead to neglecting other important responsibilities. This narrow focus may result in overlooking critical aspects of work, such as communication, collaboration, or administrative tasks, which are integral to overall success. Thus, maintaining a balanced approach to task prioritization is imperative to mitigate this risk. Finding the equilibrium between prioritizing high-impact tasks and addressing other essential responsibilities poses a significant challenge. While the Pareto Principle aids in identifying where to concentrate efforts for maximum impact, it's vital to ensure that less immediately impactful tasks are not disregarded entirely. Achieving this balance necessitates careful planning, effective communication, and ongoing assessment of priorities to prevent critical aspects of work from being overlooked. Ready to start applying the Pareto Principle to maximize your productivity and enhance various aspects of your life? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you'd love our other ones, so subscribe and remember to like and share this video widely.